A huge new breakthrough for Steel Battalion fans that has been long, long awaited is here. There's finally been an acquisition of the original Xbox developer test kit for the game Steel Battalion Line of Contact, and if you're by chance not familiar with Steel Battalion, I'll introduce you. Steel Battalion is the most in-depth mech simulation game that has ever been made. Created by Capcom and Nude Maker Studios, the game released on the original Xbox with a massive controller it's known for back in 2002. I, personally, have only been able to play the game a few times at the few conventions that I've been to, and there's truly nothing else like it in terms of the quality and the level of simulation in the mecha genre. As for the state of the game now, there's a small but dedicated player base that continues to play matches to this day using excellent Kai, always helping new players find controllers for sale, how to modify pedals to keep them in working order, as well as hunt for anything related to the game. Paramount of these being the developer debug version of the game, which is the oldest version of the game known to be still floating around. This dev kit has been highly sought after, and while not every parameter on that disc is the same as retail, it provides critical info about the game and its inner workings, which could contribute to projects such as improved emulation on PC through Zemo. Speaking of which, this is what Steel Battalion emulation looks like, assuming you are able to get past the title screen. So, needless to say, there's work that needs doing, and I know there are plenty of highly skilled and talented people out there with the knowledge necessary to contribute. I just don't know how many also share this niche interest in Mecha, and for Steel Battalion in particular. Now, as of April 4th, 2023, we finally have that dev kit in all of its technical glory, and there is a story behind how it was uncovered and brought to light. I'll go through it, even if it's missing some details here and there for brevity's sake. In 2015, person A saved a dev Xbox from the Capcom offices where he worked. That person asked his friend, person B, to find a buyer for it on Assembler Games, a website dedicated to video game prototypes which is unfortunately closed nowadays. Person B had a lot more history on the site than person A, and person A did not want to be associated with the item online. Person B recorded it and uploaded the video shown here about a year ago. Person B sold that Xbox to Person C and, as a courtesy, dumped the hard drive form. Person B, however, also password protected the RAR file to safeguard his friend, who is a Capcom employee and because it's sort of the standard procedure amongst that culture of prototype game collection, as well as telling him the password on Assembler Games. Person B deleted the files as he had no interest in them anymore and moved on. About a decade passes until 2023, in which person B finds that he accidentally kept a copy of the Dart RAR on a backup hard drive and reconsiders the value of the item while unfortunately having no records or recollection of what the password is, and he lets his friend Tenfresh know that he has it. And so begins the hunt for the password. Assembler games haven't been defunct. The password manager for the website is long gone, and even getting in contact with some of the old owners of the website turned up a dead end, as even they said that there's no chance of a backup or an archive of it existing. Person B tried to contact Person C a few years ago about it, but he also couldn't find the password, and sold the Xbox to Person D, which is described as a hard dead end. Not to mention, the original hard drive doesn't exist anymore. So instead, people got together on the Steel Battalion Discord and by using Hashcat software, a tool that allows users to pool their local computer's processing power for computing processes, started cracking at decrypting the password. In terms of what's being tried at the same time as that collaborative cracking effort, the rocku.txt dictionary has been tried, which is a file that contains over 14 million unique passwords. One user named Ixi Tomiixi tried the Kayonashi word list, which is a massive list cultivated from real password leaks based on analysis of password creation patterns. One user named Magnum Kale tried the dark code and still no hits. After a long while of mining it, a user by the name of Disco Star Slayer comes out using the one rule and rock you set together. He cracked the RAR locally, with the password ending up being Xbox Recover. A very simple password, but nonetheless, 
It was a community effort that resulted in success, and now we have it open to the public. I very much hope this comes in handy for getting new players into the game, because the barrier to entry is one of the highest, if not the highest, for any game I've seen. Prices for original controllers are insane on sites like eBay, and they keep getting more and more expensive. But either way, this is a new chapter in the history of the game and the Steel Battalion community at large, and I'm happy that new developments are coming forth for it, even after all this time. I hope this brief video was informative, and feel free to join the Steel Battalion Discord if interested in the game. Have a good day.